Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. And today we have Lico A32, flipping an image. And this uh, Lico problem is rated as easy, but I think it's a really good example um, because of multiple reason. Um, one of the reason that is track you and train you for the logical thinking. Another one is really practical because of flipping an image. By talking too much, I will show you some example. What does that mean for this solution? The question itself, um, geez. so now you can see the input is a matrix. I mean, I, I assume you read all the questions, I mean, the description already. So we input, we see the metric right here. Uh, to do that first, we flip left to right. So now if you see uh, one, one here, it will become one, one here. It's like in a mirror in the between, mirroring on the, to the right side. After the flipping to left, uh, from left to right, and then um, make a opposite sign for one and zero. So if it's zero, it become one. If it's one, it becomes zero. So that's two step. First, move left to right, right to left, and then invert it. That's how it process from here to here. So we have to go through every uh, row of this matrix. So this is the question, but, but when you see it, there's some logic behind that. For sure, we can do um, the brute force way by moving this and switch it to uh, one by one like that. And after moving one by one, and then we flip, if it's one become zero, if it's zero become one. Yeah, there's a brute force, but there's another way you can find out some pattern from this to here. So if um, you can see if the front and back is different, either one or what, I mean, you move it, uh, you switch their place and then invert it, it will be the same because they only have one and zero. So if you switch the space, become zero and one and invert it back, it become one and zero. So if they are different, then after two step, you it will maintain the same. Imagine if you have zero and one, you flip them, become one and zero, and we invert them, it become zero and one again. So now this is one case. So if they are different, I mean, if they are the same in this case, right? You move them, doesn't change at all. And now you flip them. If they're the same, both of them one will become zero in here. If they're zero at the beginning, at the end, we become one. So now that's how they solve the problem. Uh, Let's take a look at the code and I'll explain a little bit more. What I can do is loop through every row. You need to process every row. For each row, we will have a starting pointer equal to zero an ending pointer equal to a current i ray dot link minus one. So we have one pointer here, one pointer here, then we can process it. Like what we said, while start less than n. Um, hold on. We can approach like moving to the middle, keep moving to the middle. So now we have the pointer set up. So if, if they are different, so if the beginning and um, 
the n is different, we don't need to care about it. We don't need to modify it. So only when star is not equal to uh, a, oh, actually they have the row. Current row is i star and current row i n. So that will be this number and this number. If they are different, I mean, don't care about it. If they're the same, that's what we need to care. So another trick in here, I think this question just kind of smart in their way. Now we have, if they're the same, like in one, one right here, so the beginning will be uh, one minus star. What it mean is, for example, if it's one, one minus one is zero. If it's zero, um, in here, so one minus zero become one. So. It's just smart for one and zero by switching them. Uh, if one minus that number will become the other number. That's so cool. And A, I, N, right? Should be the same as A, I, star. After changing star and then N should be the same. Now, after this uh, operation, then we step forward for this star in is to the left. So the while loop, we do the stuff. For loop, we do for every uh, row. Now we have A modified it, and then we just return the A. Mm -mm. What's happening? Okay. Give me a second. I will double check thing. Oh, here. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, even the middle part, you need to change it. To see. Cool. Yeah, that's it for this question. Let's submit it. Yeah, that's it for this question. If you still have question, please comment it below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.